Libra, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below where you can find the current list of reading services I offer. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Libra, I'll be channeling messages for the collective of your sign and then we'll tie it together also with the cards that will be showing up. So Libra, I feel like there's a little bit here of a challenge about you leaving something like in bad terms or someone that left in bad terms, something ended or is about to end a little bit here on bad terms and it's weighing heavy on you the fact that it did or that you are anticipating that probably will i feel like maybe some of you yeah you're, you're holding on to something here that didn't went the way uh you hoped um you hoped it would or you feel wronged you feel like you have made like some sort of huge sacrifice for nothing or that you've wasted a lot of time or energy on or resources on something that just end up being a little bit here of your own sentence when it comes to how you're feeling right now. But I also feel like I keep getting like you saw it coming, you saw it coming. There's something here for Libra's taking place during mid-August that you saw it coming so I don't feel like it's gonna be like a surprise but more like an unfortunate confirmation of something you were anticipating that was not just a fear it was actually your intuition guiding you through this outcome this outcome whatever it applies to is to help you see differently the purpose with the hangman is to bring a new vision a new perspective uh, onto something you were not seeing with enough spiritual clarity or spiritual something in dignity. So there has been something for some of you Libras that was, has not been really dignifying your soul, your soul mission, your purpose, who you are, or the gifts you have been given. And it's like spiritually, there's a little bit of like of a lesson here for you to take on. That could be a lesson of humility, yes. But that is also to shift you back into the right place, into alignment, into something you have been really off or just not seeing. I also feel like there are other Libras here that you know you're paying the price for something you've done way back so it's not something new um something that also ended in bad terms or or where you felt you've chosen wrong like if where something you feel heavy because i feel like for some of you libras it's about something that when it happened, you already knew you were choosing wrong, but you still chose it. It's for those Libras. Um, and now you're like going through this with the hangman and from, for some of you, it hurts. For others of you, you feel like, when is it gonna stop, the torture? Like you already know you've done wrong. You already know um, you should have you know, done something differently. And for those of you that are wondering, like, when is this torture going to end? When is this suffering going to end? Whatever kind of torture, suffering you're going through. Um, I keep getting like, when you know what it means. So there's something here about you really needing to tap into your spiritual wisdom and understand the deeper layer of this experience so that you get to the meaning of it and so then you can free yourself from this or you can be freed from some sort of either guilty conscious 
or a sense of being a victim of someone's doing to you. And like a feeling of no, God has not forsaken you. So some of you could even be going through some sort of spiritual crisis, uh, feeling really abandoned by divine love, support, luck. It's not abandonment. There's a disconnection though. Um, so for some of you Libras, it's about tapping back into source, into God's energy, into divine, again, love, healing, higher frequencies. Those of you that already are familiar with that, it's about getting back into those practices. For others of you, it's about learning how to embrace more of um, an aspect of life that's beyond the material and more about faith. Where is your faith? What kind of belief systems you hold when it comes to faith? So spirituality is a big theme for Libras, but also... How you choose to learn from it and use it to empower you and overcome the past by understanding what happened but also knowing how to forgive and transcend beyond that past version that went into something that you now realize you shouldn't Now, for others of you, it's like it's okay that you're free. That's it's okay that um, you could also be that for some of you, Libras, you're scared of the freedom. And here, I'm picking on um, a group of Libras that are now entering a very different state of your life. I'm actually getting Libras that are like maybe you've spent like some years in jail or confined, and are you going back to society or to freedom? And it's scaring you or Libras that are getting yourselves into a divorce um, or Libras that are, you know, leaving a job and going through unemployment or Libras that um, have lost uh, someone dearly and are going through that grief. Uh, it's about going back to the ordinary state of things that can also be an issue where freedom is your right it's like either you have lost touch of what freedom truly means for some of you a group of libras in particular or you're needing to relearn how to use this freedom with responsibility but also with enjoyment i also feel like for many of you it's about you know someone suffers or suffered and you're also needing to deal with that let along with your along with, alongside with your energy is knowing the pain you've caused i just feel like many of you libras are revisit, revisiting themes that are very heavy and at the same time very sacred there's something very spiritual about your energy for the next weeks and those that feel um compelled to uh, go to churches or to uh, spiritual counseling or therapy or whatever is your thing to help you spiritually you absolutely should um there are some libras that could be going through so much that also there can be tendencies to suicidal thoughts. So uh, again, when you catch yourself in those moments and you know that that's not what you, what you want to do, it's just being haunted by those thoughts because the pain is so, um, the pain or the lack of understanding is so intense that those thoughts come by. Seek help. Many of you Libras, this is also about n knowing how to seek help, knowing how to break free of your own torturous reality and just ask for help. Libras. Um, your life is somehow differently from what you originally planned. 
and I also feel like there are levers just looking at how things turned out to be right now on um, mid-August for example you're like looking around your life and comparing it to how you thought things would be some years ago and for some of you it's not that there's anything wrong it's just different and for some of you, you don't know what to make out of this. Like you're also kind of in this limbo state where you still don't know what what's your opinion, what's your take on something that just turned out to be different. Um, ahead, you're going to have some sort of power of choice again. What I want to say about this is that it's not that you don't have power choice or not had so far power choice, but I feel like there has been, as I said, spiritual restrictions here. Um, this is a, a, a karmic cycle you're really coming to terms with and you're going to have the power of choice again. If that's something you're somehow, regardless of the details, worried about, yes, you will have that power. Um, but you can't go back. Um, some of you Libras want a machine time or a time machine or you want a, just a miracle to go back. You have to redefine the story ahead. You can't go back. And if you, you're stuck on that hope, you're going to perpetrate this agony way longer than what karmically itself you need to you can see someone's pain quite clearly right, right now for some of you Libras is that this will not be at all about yourself this is about someone very dear to you very close to you that you're witnessing in their eyes in their body language in their energy everything about them is crying for help but they don't ask it so trust your intuition if you're seeing someone that really does not look well or that it, it looks like it's in a dark place or about to do something bad. Trust your feeling. I feel like it's a friend for some of you or someone connected to friends, friendships, or uh, it's someone you care about, but you also feel not that it's not responsive to someone that is not responsive to your advice or to your example or knowledge nine of wands someone that has trust issues someone that does not trust you feel like they don't trust you with their pain so they keep it quiet and that is also hurting you yeah you could feel like it's just a friend is not trusting you you can see clearly that they're suffering or they're struggling with something but they're not saying anything about it and it creates this energy of lack of trust but also tension because you know but they don't know, want you to you know know so there's a lot of um also challenges when it comes to connections right now because how can you help someone that that mythical question how can you save someone that does not want to be saved or help someone that does not want to be helped? And I feel like it's just about watch watching. Some of you are going to be very vigilant about someone. You already have like your eye on when it comes to feeling that there's something wrong there. Also, you could just feel like you don't trust things easily right now. So that on its own can be very uncomfortable. Uh, you can feel like you've lost trust, you've lost faith on people, on so many things that are essential to the maintenance of a life we call it quality and joy. You feel like you've lost trust of it, if it's even possible to regain trust. Now, for some of you, it's really trust, regain trust in life itself. For others, it's trust in um, people. Some of you, Libras, especially trust in men, all right, and the masculines that have somehow wounded you. 
or your own wounded masculine is under scrutiny and evaluation right now. Again, definitely either someone is picking on your suffering or you are picking on someone's suffering, but this is a person that can be very, very stubborn, very private, very dominant, that does not want to show weakness. So you could be also dealing with, this can be like an Aries influence or a Pisces influence in particular, but it's someone that can be very, very stubborn and so it could be dying inside and still won't won't show it or you are doing this to yourself and that rigidity is costing you support that is essential to move you out of this process so i hope you have um a great mid-month hopefully we'll see each other soon